All right, I want to encourage you. If they're doing it to you, they're doing it to me too. And then Jesus reminded me, they did it to him in his hometown. They see me the way that I used to be. They just can't see the work he's done in me. Cause they don't one of whom I speak, but Jesus said this would be. It happened also to him in his hometown. They thought they knew what was the truth. But the blind they cannot see what they can't see they couldn't see him and they cannot see me they see me the way that i used to be they just can't see Jesus said this would be. It happened also to him in his hometown. They thought they knew what was the truth. But the blind they cannot see. They couldn't see him, and they cannot see me. It happened also to him in his hometown. They thought they knew what was the truth. But the blind they cannot see. They couldn't see him, and they cannot see me. All right, so since I've been here, I'm showing you my hometowns. We're in Philly. We were going to go to South Jersey tomorrow to see Franklin Drive, where I was first living when I was a little girl in New Jersey. But, and I mean, there's a tie-in to what I'm doing this week also at that home. And then, of course, before North Carolina, I was in Bel Air. Told you about that the other night. I'm telling you about the places where I'd be from. There was like a reason for that. Um, but my aunt asked me to go with her son and my son to the Franklin Institute tomorrow. I'm like, okay, well, I'm sure God will give me something to say. It's Franklin, Benjamin Franklin. And then of course the next day we're going down to Franklin Drive and there's a tie in with the year 23, you know, there's something for me to show you. Now we are on day five right now. I told you a countdown began day one, day two, day three, day four, now day five. And what I'm doing, I am purposefully taking the time to show you how to see. I don't know if you want to call it the hidden code. I mean, you're going to have to have spiritual eyes to see. But I'm taking the time to show you the way God shows me to understand what he's speaking through the numbers. 
Remember, the book of Numbers, the fourth book, is God's book to us telling us what happened to the children of Israel after the Exodus, is the book of Numbers. Did you know that Numbers 23, 23 is about Jacob and Israel and, and see what God had done? They will all say, see what God had done. So I had a family member. Why are you doing numbers? I'm concerned about you. Like, and it's not the first time they've said something like that since I've been here. But they are not in Christ. And I said, I said, look, you are not a Christian. I am. And I understand things. And I believe that Jesus is coming soon. And I believe that those who are not in him will suffer. And I told her, I understand things in the scripture. I, I said the Hebrew alphabet is numeric. The Bible is, is numbered. You know, I explained a little bit of that. And I said, I see some of this. I understand it. So I'm teaching others what I know. Not like, you know, most people. But the ones who are like me, who want to know, I am showing them what I know so that they can see the way I see, the way God has taught me to see. And God has given me very specific things that tie into my own life that I can point to and say, look, see, this is a way to see. I'll give you one he showed me today. And this is only going to be for seven days. Day seven is the last day I'm going to teach you how to see. I'm going to just speak after that. I'm going to do my songs. Whatever God shows me, I will show you. And whether you get it or you don't is not going to be up to me. Because I, I, I gave you the keys. And if you're curious to know what I'm showing you, you'll go back and learn it. I told my girlfriend, who wants to learn it, I said, you know, grab a pen and paper, grab a little notebook, and just write stuff down. You'll start to see what I'm, what I'm talking about. I'm not just like telling you the cool things God's telling me, like a riddle. I mean, I've done a couple riddles, but when I showed you that odometer reading, I gave you information on how to see numbers. I've been showing you how to see the number 23, all sorts of things. Here's one. If God wants you to see something, he'll, he'll tell you. So I did the video earlier today, driving to Dutch Wonderland, and we went through the city of paradise. And I, I had a cooler, like an insulated bag in my car that my aunt gave me because I had to take hoagies from my uncle's favorite cut above hoagie place in Newtown Square out to Lancaster, where he lives, York. He lives in York, PA. So we were going to be at the amusement all day. So I needed to keep the hoagies cool. So I had my aunt's bag. And her initials are J C. D. So J and then the D in the middle and C on the right. Now, I mean, it's, it's silly, but like, did you notice that the D looked like a Roman numeral two and it's J C Jesus Christ two second coming. I mean, that's the kind of stuff I see. It's like you got to see beyond what is just the obvious. I'm trying to help you to see beyond what is just the obvious. And, I, and I've been doing it like coming at it like all different angles. Maybe not like three examples each, but maybe one or two. And I've been showing you in various ways. So I, I did my little recording while I was driving. I just put the phone down, looking at that bag and talked to you while I went through that town. And when I tell you stuff, There might be something I'm saying without saying it. You know what I mean? Just like the scriptures, there's layers and you might get a little bit of an understanding and then you might get a, a little bit more of an understanding as you read it again. I'm, I'm teaching right now. I'm literally teaching it to you. But I can't just tell you. You have to see it for yourself. So anyway, I was recording the little initials, right? And then we get to Dutch Wonderland. And I noticed there's initials on the castle, DW. And 
then I was like, oh, okay, I'm supposed to know what those alphanumeric numbers are for D and W. D is fourth. Remember, I'm English. God doesn't have me teaching you the Hebrew number alphabet. I'm English. So he has me like doing it with the English alphabet. D is the fourth number and W is the 23rd. And right away I was like, oh, 423, 423. Well, I just like two weeks ago did that video talking about how 423 was the Time Magazine article of, of Trump with the, the storm all going on in his office, the water and the, the wind blowing. And in the middle of the illustration, it says the storm while Trump is sitting there at that desk. All right, well, that was exactly how many days after, this, after the Revelation 12 sign? September to October to November, December, January, February, March, April. Seven months, exactly seven months after the Revelation 12 sign, which I told you I was I was in D.C. doing my thing. D.C. D is a four. C is a three. 43. I'm 43 this year. And God said to sound the alarm on Capitol Hill. All right. I'm teaching you how to see. Using me. Using me. I'm teaching you how to see. All right. So 423 on the DW at Dutch Wonderland, DW. I mean, when I realize stuff, it, it, it's like it happens in an instant. I do not spend any more time on it. I'm like, oh, okay, noted, you know, noted. About two hours later, Matthew's on the couch sleeping next to me and he just made a little noise. About two hours later, I'm watching Matthew on the bumper cars and God says, okay, now what about your initials? T, I had to do it on my fingers. T is 20, W is 23, 20, 23. I mean, I've been doing this for six months now, not even, it's August 1st. I've been doing it January, February, March, April, May. June, July, I've been doing it seven months now that God told me, tell them about 2023, 20, that it's important. Show them that they've got to adjust their vision so that they can see, so that they can see in the year 2023. That's a C. It's like a, it's like a silly little play on words. You're going to have to see in 2023, you're going to have to see with spiritual eyes because something is being revealed. And I, and I used to do this. This wasn't from me either. God said, show them this. Will we see the three in 2023? The Father, Son, and Spirit. The Holy Trinity. The one, two, and three. Will we see the three in 2023? That is what God said to me. He said, 2,000 years plus 30 minus seven. He said it twice to me in January. Around like... Maybe the eighth or ninth, maybe the maybe the seventh, but around then in January. That's when he put it on my heart that 2023 is an important year, and that we needed to see. So, so I've been teaching you since January how to see a little bit at a time, like a little bit at a time. But right now, day one just started the other day, and on day seven, I will no longer take the time to teach you. It will just be. And the last thing I'm going to teach you on day seven has to do with when I was born again and when I asked Jesus to be my savior. They were two different dates. Exactly 4,580 days apart. Two different dates. All right, so... My family's concerned that I'm doing numbers. Well, I'm doing a very specific thing right now. I'm teaching you the way I understand to see things. It's like, it's like, just like the number two. The number two is T-O, T-O-O, 
I mean, it's just like shift your thinking a little bit, shift your eyes a little bit to just like see a little bit more than, than, and then, than just what you see. Do you understand? Like, it's important or I wouldn't be doing it. So I encourage you to take the time to, I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to, obviously. But um, you might find it interesting and you might, you might, you might see something that you hadn't seen before in terms of what's in the scripture. God told me in 2016, Tara, you are a witness of these things. I see, I see a lot and it's my job to teach you, you know, teach you what he shows me. That's what he said. Show them what I show you. So my family may come against me and be concerned and think I'm like going crazy because I'm talking about numbers and things that they do not understand because they're not even, they're not even believers. <laughs> like they don't even know Christ. They literally are so much in the world, but I love my family. Like I want them to come to know the truth, you know? So I've got to like tiptoe around and, and, you know, It just is what it is. Even the little bit they see of me is like too much light. They can't, they can't handle the light. They don't even know what that would mean. If I said something like that to them, they'd have no clue what I'm talking about. They'd have no clue. So the people around us who do not know the word of God, they do not know what the scriptures say. When we speak in scripture, they think we're cray cray because they do not know what the word of God says. Religious people too. They do not. I mean, maybe, maybe some of them do, but like, you know, we've just got to be, I mean, Jesus says to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. We literally know that the end has started. So we've got to like put on our, our wise caps, you know, like we've got to, we've got to be wise and um, we've got to understand that when they come against us, it's because they are literally blind and they literally do not see. They cannot see. So the way they see me, the way that I used to be, they see me the way that I used to be. They just can't see the work that he's done in me because they just don't know the one of whom I speak. They do not know Jesus. And most of you are in families where they're not born again either. They may be religious, but like you're the one who's born again and they all think you're a nut. Be encouraged. You're not. And one day they will come to know the truth. You're a witness in that family. You're a witness. And one day when they know Christ, they're going to be thanking God that he puts you in that family. But Jesus said this would be. It happened to him in his hometown. They thought they knew what was true. But the blind, they cannot see what they can't see. Obviously, the blind can't see what they can't see. It's like, it's like a person who is 16 years old and they've never been in love. They don't know what love is. They know... They know what it is to love their parents, but they've never been in love until they're in love for the first time. And then they know what it is to be in love. Well, those who don't have the Holy Spirit, they, I mean, they, they think they know what it is to have God in them, but it's just what they've been taught until they actually have the, the, the life flow of, of God, the living God living in them until they actually experience what it is to be born again, they do not know. They literally do not know. And we have to remember that. And that at one point we were the same. At one point we didn't know either. We were, we, we thought that radical Christian was, was a lunatic just like they do. They don't know that 
Everything in us is begging them to see the truth because we don't want them to perish. They don't see the love that we have. Because they literally do not understand the words we speak. We're like, bop, 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 bop. They do not hear. They hear what they want to hear, what they think they hear. But they do not hear God until they do. And when they do, then they do. So like I was, I was a little sad this evening when I sat down and I wrote out my little song and, and Jesus like reminded me what I, what I wrote in this song. He reminded me, just continue to do what you do, you know? So like I said, day seven, unless it's like something totally new, day seven is like, this is like the seven days that I'm teaching. This is the seven days that I'm teaching. All right, Franklin Institute on Wednesday and Thursday will be Mays Landing, New Jersey, Franklin Drive. All right, God bless you.